Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Don't ever let life hold you back. Sometimes you just have to dance after your dreams. When I got Hairspray on DVD one Christmas, it became my favorite musical. I even dressed up as Tracy Turnblad one Halloween. Hairspray is a feel-good movie with an invigorating message. Get your dancing shoes on and let's talk about this dance-hopping film. Hairspray hit theaters in 2007. Based on the original 1988 film and Broadway musical, Tracy Turnblad, a plump but energetic girl, dreams to one day dance on her favorite show. Taking place in the 60s, Tracy not only fights for herself, but persistently tries to end segregation. If there's any film that I wish that I saw in theaters, I wish that I could have experienced Hairspray. Hairspray has one of the most important messages to all audiences. No matter what size, race, or gender you are, anybody has the right to stand up for themselves to make a change. The entire cast of Hairspray is an all-star ensemble. Everyone put their hearts into dancing, singing, and acting. Whether they were unknown at the time, Hairspray gave them a chance to shine hidden talents. A lot went into making this film. Hairspray would not be what it is without its phenomenal talents. Right when the movie begins, Nikki Belonsky is on fire with her contagious enthusiasm, incredible performance, and remarkable voice. For her very first film, Belonsky blew me away. She danced her heart out, never showing a bead of sweat. Tracy Turnblatt is the driving force of Hairspray. She is not afraid to be who she is. Tracy stands out as an inspiration to anyone who feels insecure about themselves. If you're wondering who's playing Edna Turnblad, that is John Travolta. As a tradition since Hairspray first debuted, Edna Turnblad is always performed by a male actor. Travolta is fantastic, and even now when watching, I forget that it's him. Travolta and Christopher Walken were terrific as Tracy's parents, especially in their tango dream sequence. Every single actor did an exceptional job. Each character harbors insecurities that audiences can relate to. Amanda Bynes, Elijah Kelly, Michelle Pfeiffer, Brittany Snow, Zac Efron, Queen Latifah, James Marsden, and Taylor Parks were amazing. Allison Janney, Paul Dooley, Jane Eastwood, and Jerry Stiller make short but memorable appearances. The entire ensemble of The Corny Collins Show is remarkable. Sure, they're just there to fill in as dancers, but they constructed their own characters and subtle relationships to one another. Now I appreciate their characters and performances all the more. A few story elements from the Broadway musical were changed for the film. While I like these changes, I feel like it ruined the development of Link Larkin, Tracy's love interest. In the stage musical, Link has a major scene that's pivotal in his relationship with Tracy. The movie could have done a better job with the purpose of Link's character instead of just having him stand off to the sides. I recommend that you watch all the behind the scenes features to this movie. I once spent an entire day binging all the rehearsals to dances, songs, and interviews. Every time I watch these clips, it makes me wish that I was a part of this movie. Hairspray is an amazing film. Adam Shankman's dedication to every musical performance is pure entertainment. Not once does this film fall flat. Shankman's powerful direction to convey an important message is the highlight of Hairspray. We are all our own person. Hairspray will always be one of my favorite musicals. If you have not yet seen this film, I recommend that you find it on Netflix and have a dance party on your next Friday night. Thanks for catching my review of Hairspray. This is a show that I would love to be in someday. So, did you all catch the Academy Award nominees on Tuesday? For Sunday, catch my review of King Richard. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.